with your eyes came open. And closed in your right mind. And that's enough to say thank you. Today I'd just like to encourage you. Amen. To keep on keeping on. Keep on holding on. For we're in his care. I'm not going to worry your patience this morning, but I want to I wanna relay to you just how important it is to keep on, you know, keep it on. And, uh, but let me make this uh, statement this morning. It's, it's uh, God has not given us a spirit of fear. Amen. 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 And uh, COVID is not the only thing that's bringing death. Uh, people still dying. Right. Gunshot, other sickness. And so we focus on COVID. And let me tell all of you this morning, you, you may have had the shot, just like me. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen? But it's not the shot. It's the God Amen. that we serve. Amen. Now, let's don't be ignorant. Let's utilize everything God has given us. But it's not the shot that keeps us. Amen. Amen? Amen? And I'm so grateful to see all of you this morning. Amen? And uh, I'm not going to beat up anybody. I'm just here to encourage you. But if you can work on a job with 500 people, and you scared to come to church with 20 people. Amen. Something wrong with that math right there. On, Amen. 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 So, something is wrong. If you can go to Walmart <laughs> with a thousand people, and you scared to come to your church with 20 people, Amen. something wrong with that math right there. Amen. But we're not going to beat that up this morning. To each his own, you do what you think you've got to do. Amen. But we just want to encourage you. Uh, to stay with God, to keep on keeping on. And sometimes, uh, sometimes this book may not help us as much as seeing an old soldier keep on keeping on. Amen. This book has all the answers in it for your life. Amen. Every answer you need is in this book. I have met people say, I know that what the Bible say, mm -hmm. but I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got there yet, real. Whether we got there yet or not, Amen. this ain't gonna change. Amen. Amen. Amen, this is not gonna change. And so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this morning, look at the, uh, two passages of scripture. And, uh, and my thought for today is to be strong and be of good courage. Uh -huh. The Spirit of God uh -huh. is still with us. Uh -huh. Amen. Be strong and be of good courage because the Spirit of God is still with us. The same God that brought us out of the land of Egypt yes, is still God. The God that loved us so much that he sent his own son to die that we might have a right to the trees of life. Mm -hmm. He's still God. So I'm gonna send you in a book this morning. I know you you're gonna take you a minute to find it. Amen. Uh, the book of Haggai. Amen. Haggai, it's gonna take you a minute. Because we don't go past Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We might slip Acts and Romans in that every <laughs> once in a while. But then basically, there are your four books. Amen. <clears throat> and can I tell you this? There's nothing new under the sun. And ain't no new answer under the sun. Amen? And your answer is already recorded. Mm -hmm. But what I would like to share with you is that it ain't no magic in the Bible. Amen. But there's a whole lot of miracles and promises. Amen. And while you find trying to find Haggai, I'm going to take the time to give God thanks for uh, Deacon and uh, Sister Eddie. Uh, God has blessed them with 60 years in marriage. Amen? Amen. Some don't stay together two weeks. <laughs> 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 and 
And Deacon Eddie had always made it seem like he the one kept everything together. <laughs> um, and I ain't gonna call him no liar. But since I've been in this thing for a while, <laughs> we know who keep things together. Amen. Amen. Uh, the book of Haggai. How you doing, Deacon? I'm good. 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 i am uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. And um, I'm going to show you this. Amen. And, and then we're going to move on. Uh, Proverbs 6 and 6. And when I encourage you to keep on holding on, what if you can't get to this building for one reason or another? Well, God ain't locked up in here. The only God here is the one you bring. Can I say that again? The only God here is the one that you bring. You got, you got what I'm saying? And if you, if you want to be blessed by God, you got to bring him to church with you. Or either church ain't going to make no sense. Y'all all right? All right. You day that sister life. Now y'all just listen to this for a minute and, I'll, and you'll see why I'm, I'm telling you to be encouraged. And uh, even if you can't make it to this uh, sanctuary, you see what the verse six says. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. One more. When having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer, and gathers her food in the harvest. Now watch this. The ant works all the time. All the time. Don't have no guide, no overseer. But whatever that ant does is for the benefit of the whole colony. When Deacon Singleton was praying this morning, I heard him pray that God would bless the church family. Okay. You got what I'm saying? And we can pray for each other even when you ain't under each other's feet. If, if you really, you know, want God to bless your church, don't stand in judgment because all that's going to take care of itself. Amen? But if that ant could work with no guide and no overseer, you don't need a pulpit to hear from God. Y'all got what I'm saying? In fact, if you don't know him in your bathroom, you ain't gonna know him in nobody's church. Because like I said, the only God here is the one you bring here. Did you catch it? And, 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 and if you wait till Sunday morning to get ready for church, I feel sorry for you. Hello. We should have such a stack of thank yous for bringing me from Monday to Sunday. We should, we should not, listen, you should meet me here. Am I making sense? That's just how good God is. Be encouraged. Now, I got enough sense to know that everybody in here has some down days. Am I making sense? Everybody in here got some days where they hurt. Hello? You got some days where you make mistakes, but still be encouraged. You can pick the, 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 the worst person you think is in the world or have injured you, right? But can I ask you a question this morning? How much is too much to forgive? But Jesus, look over all our nasty stuff. Okay. Not just nasty stuff we have done. Okay. 
Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you, Sister Blake. We're we going to go to the book of Haggai now. Amen. Uh, we're going to go to the book of Haggai. But you know what? I've been waiting all week to get here, and I ain't need no hurry. I'll get tired before I get through. You ain't even got to put up that one finger that we do. If four doors he gave you, you out. One. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, so we clear on that. Amen. The book of Haggai. The book of Haggai. Amen. Death has hit our church family. Some gone, not to return. Am I right? Okay. But you still here. Amen. Haggai chapter. We want to go to chapter uh, chapter 1, first, verse 7. Haggai chapter 1, verse 7. And as I listened to Sister Polite testimony this morning, and, and what it all boils down to is that uh, you're responsible for your soul. Oh, yeah. Verse 7, chapter 1. Remember, uh, I'm just here to encourage you to be strong. Be encouraged that the Spirit of the Lord is still with us. Amen. Uh, verse 7 of Sister Life, chapter 1. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Wait a minute. Didn't send you across the street? No. no. Mm -hmm. You mean I don't need to go be trying to straighten out the house? No. Consider what? My ways, Reverend Newman used to say, amen, don't ever say you got an enemy because to somebody else, you, amen, well, mm -hmm. see, I know how that works right there because see, that struck a nerve right there. Don't ever talk about who you can't stand. Somebody can't stand you. And if you look real close, it might be in the house with you. Am I making sense? Everything glitter, everything shouting, showing up ain't holy. And everybody saying hallelujah, showing up ain't saying it. Consider your ways. Consider your ways. If I could help just one person in my life, then my living, I'm trying to help somebody here. And sometimes before I get out of the house, I got to go back in my house. If I could just teach one individual what thus said the Lord, rather than eat it or leave it alone, then my living, would not be in vain. Lord, I sure thank you this morning. Because I, I need that one. Amen. Y'all all right? Sometime when, when my wife chastised me, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but it don't take me too long to figure out she right. And I don't wag my tail like a dog, but I come on back and humble Myself. Amen. Consider your ways. Right. You know what? And once you say you are a child of God, you got to represent him in Walmart. Yes, Lord. Right. Huh? When you done went and made all that credit and the bill collector call, you still got to represent Christ. Yes. Right. You can't cuss them out. You you made the credit. That's right. Hello? And one thing about that credit, don't put me down for no references. Because I ain't responsible. Amen. I ain't been in your business. Amen. I ain't borrowed no money. You Don't put me down for no references. Because I got to tell the truth. The truth. The truth. Hello. I'm trying to help somebody. I'm not going to pull out why should you say that. Because if you lie for one thing, 
And a liar just ain't no good. Mama said if you lie, and if you steal, you'll kill somebody. Hello, somebody. Consider your ways. Stop looking across the fence. Stop. God, this can, can I be real with you? God, God chastised me. Amen. And I thank him when he when he scraped me out. Amen. But I have I have one of these uh mail course picture hanging up at my house. And I was just looking at the picture and seeing all oh, these young men done disappeared. And before I caught myself, I was trying, I was almost being judgmental. So God chastised me. They ain't your sheep. They my sheep. You do what you supposed to do. You understand what I'm saying? And, and no matter where they don't disappear, they still ain't out my reach. So, so, when, so when you pray for your church family, you pray sometimes for those that have fallen away. Those that have bumped their head ain't just the sin. All of us sin. All of us got something wrong with us. And all of it ain't physical. Some of us are mentally sick. Socially sick. We don't like nobody. <laughs> I ain't trying to be comical. I'm just trying to be real. It's real talk. Amen. But, but be strong. Be of good courage. The spirit of the Lord is still with us. Don't be dampened in your spirit. Nor be weary. Yet consider your ways. Y'all all right? Okay. Be strong. Be of good courage. Now, just like God chastised me with that picture, can we all be chastised this morning through the word? Yes, Chapter 2, beginning at verse 3. When you're ready, say amen. amen. Wait, say amen. 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 And you know, before I read the scriptures, it's amazing how church can be Walmart. <laughs> Wherever you see one of the members of the church, they'll talk about church. But they ain't coming to no church. It's amazing, man, that the church folk will invite you to a party. But they don't want to see you at church. My sisters and my brothers, I'm, I'm telling you this morning to be encouraged. I'm just as serious as I can be. The job you got is by the grace of God. The wealth you got, he said, it is I that give you the knowledge to gain wealth. For all you and ailments this morning, he said, by my stripes, you are healed. If you want to get your mind blessed, he said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing. Yes, Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Yes, Lord. Can we go to this now? Be strong. Be of good courage. Oh, of your good days outweigh that ought to be enough to say thank you Lord consider your ways can we go to verse chapter 2 verse 3 Which, I want everybody to listen to this carefully carefully really? Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? Pause. This ain't talking about a building. And even though the building has been upgraded from 1886, church been here since 1886, 
Where's the spirit gone? When we had to walk, we had a Sunday school. This ain't no amen right there. The soul searching. When we had to walk, we had a Sunday school. Did you catch it? Now we got some BMWs, some Benz, some Lexus. In Sunday morning, we outside polishing the car. And not consider the God that bless you with it. We want the blessings, but we don't want nothing to do with the blesser. Anybody ever had real pain? I ain't talking about no Tylenol headache. I'm talking about real pain. You know how good it feels when you get relief? Huh? Do you know how much pain we put on God? It hurts him to see us treat him so bad. And he loves us anyhow. He works it. I ain't even going to stay angry with you though. Come on back. I got you. Ain't that something? Do that verse one more time for me. Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Mm, then watch this. Mm -hmm. Can I get over to the testimony? Mm -hmm. Testify or test a lie? Mm -hmm. We come in and we drop a story and we disappear. Mm -hmm. And we ain't coming back till we get another story. If your house don't get shot up, see that's that's testimony right there. We got to come to church. <laughs> and we got to tell the story. You understand what I'm saying? The story, your story don't edify nothing without you. Look, Lord, if I'm thanking you that you saved my family, let me show you some reverence. Let me not forget to assemble myself with my sisters and brothers because somebody else might be going through the same thing I'm going through. Amen. Amen. Can you see the difference? Can you see where you've been? And can you see where you are now? Can I get another verse? Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Watch this. You remember the joy you used to feel? Ain't nobody stole it. Nope, nope, nobody. <laughs> ain't, ain't nobody stole your joy. And I ain't talking about getting happy now because a monkey can get happy. And happiness only lasts for a short while. But joy is when you're going through. You understand what I'm saying? When, you, when you're going through and, and you ain't got nobody else you can lean on, and even if you told them what you were dealing with, they can't help you. Bible study the other night, we dealt with the word handcuff. Sometimes God gonna handcuff you. He ain't letting no help come to you. No, you gonna be a help to nobody else. Because he wants your attention personally. Y'all jot the scripture down. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16, because you're looking at me crazy. And you can get so far from God. Watch this. God said, he tells the preacher, don't even pray for you. He told the preacher, don't even come in my face. Praying for them people because I don't want to hear. You can fast all you want. I will not hear you. That's a bad spot to be in. I'd rather all of y'all be mad with me than God. You understand what I'm saying? Because see, if you angry with me, the only thing you can destroy is my body. God can destroy both body and soul. Y'all all right? I remember. One Sunday, Reverend Oliver preached on don't get caught with an angry God. That's deeper than it sounds. Amen. Can I go to the next verse? Be, but I, I'm, I'm telling you, yeah, be strong. Be a 
good courage. It, it can, and it, and it, and can, I, can I help you? My sisters and my brothers, all of you that always say the doctor don't know everything, you playing the part of a fool. He might can't hear you, but he can tell you what to pray for. He, listen, all healing comes from God. He cannot heal you, but he can tell you what to take to God. You understand what I'm saying? He can give you confidence. And knowing no matter what you're dealing with, I got this. Anybody here ever cry? Okay, watch this one. When you get through crying, have you ever laughed? The boy, you must be stupid. <laughs> This God can do anything but fail. You, you understand what I'm saying? Anything but fail. And he has no respect of persons. You pray, get through just like mine. Don't let nobody fool you. And I feel sorry for all of you who need somebody to tell you, I see a calling on your life. <laughs> well, if you see a calling on my life, it seems like God ought to let me know it. So I can line up with the calling, right? Hello, somebody. Read. And yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord. And be strong, O Joshua, son of Joshua Deck. The high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, says the Lord, and work. Whoa. For I am what's, with you, says the Lord of hosts. What's the key word? Work. 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 You got to do something. You understand what I'm saying? If you sit on a stump and say, The Lord knows my heart, if the cold wind don't keep you, that hot sun don't keep you, the rain don't drown you, you're still going to be sitting on a stump saying the Lord knows my heart. That's why you're still on the stump. you got to put forth an effort. Read this for life. Be, the Lord said to do what? Work, be work. strong and what? Work, 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 work. Be, 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 listen. Listen. When we think about the old soldiers that's going on home, their history, right? We ain't but a few days from being history. And it could be history at any moment. Because the day he called us, that's the end of your history right there. That's the end of your living right there. But your history will be there. Am I making sense? If you was writing the book of your life this morning. Would all your pages be beautiful? No. No. If it did, you would be a liar. <laughs> and I wouldn't read your book. If you ain't had some dirty pages, don't make me believe you fall from heaven. You ain't never did nothing wrong. I couldn't read your book. I burned that up with the junk. But all of us have sin and what? Of the glory of God. And I ain't got no problem with that. Amen. Lord down. <laughs> Amen. And, and, and when God clean you up now, be careful. How you cast your eye on your brother that ain't been converted yet? Amen. You know many. I know many people that were crack addicts preaching the word of God. See, that's the kind of God we serve. I remember right here at a funeral. Amen. Gave an altar call. 
first young man jumped out was the biggest dope dealer in Wallaby. And I heard him preach before he died. That's what God can do. You understand what I'm saying? Don't look down on nobody now. Unless you try. Now, 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 come on now. When I say this to you, I want you to understand that there are days when we are disgusted. We don't throw in the towel. We don't say, I ain't doing no more. But consider, you might be their last hope. That's right. That's right. But let me come home then, because we get frust frustrated with them children. Right? Still your child. And if you don't say save them, the world will kill them. And let you go to the funeral. Because you done threw up both hands. You got one weapon left. Get down on your knees. Point your face toward the rising sun and ask God to have mercy. That's flesh of my flesh. Bones of my bones. Have mercy, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can we go? Can we go? Be strong. Be of good courage. You understand what I'm saying? Can I ask this question? I ain't trying to bother nobody. Even when we don't get here, do you take some time out at your house? Hello. And you, you know, because we can't go to the building, we're limited right now. Is, is, is that Sunday? The Sunday you pour to plant your garden? Wash your car, cut your grass? Okay. I know I'm right. How about the race track? <laughs> is that, that's, just, that's, that's that Sunday you splurge at the race track. Not knowing that a, a wheel could run off and kill you. Okay, let me come on from there. Because see, I know my people. And when my people start looking at the floor, they, they want you to move on from there. But I ain't going to move on. I'm going to stay right there. I, I, the reason why I'm going to stay right there is because I'd rather talk to you five minutes while you're living than to stand over your 20 when you're dead. I'm in the wrong house. Can we go, Sister Blake? And be strong, all ye people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the word that I coveted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remaineth among you. Fear ye not. Watch this. Watch this. God's grace and mercy blesses us. Let, let me be real with you. Most of us ain't put in no time yet. Most of us is still rolling along from your mama and your grandmama and your great grandmama prayers. For God, for God promised them, if you if you serve me, I'm gonna bless your family. Four and five generations. The problem is, we, we're so grateful for what God is doing with us, but sometimes you got to pick up the baton for your family to be blessed on down the line. Amen. Don't tell me about how smart little Pookie is and what he can do with the phone and the remote control and little Pookie don't know how to say, our father? No, he ain't smart. You're playing the part of a fool. Let him know that there's a God that watch over all of us. And if, and if he's swift enough to use the phone, he's swift enough to conceive and perceive the word of God if you tell it to him. But that's the world we live in. Grandmama so young, they ain't got grandmama sense. Mama's so young, mama got the baby, but mama still want to be single. Girls night out. What? Where your baby? Please don't leave him to my house. 
I call it DSS. Mm. So I see some kids out there on my front porch. I don't know where they come from. <laughs> well, if you're working, I got you. If you're sick, I got you. But you want to go clubbing? I see some kids out there on my porch. Call DSS and the police. Mm. Y'all don't think I'm trying to be calm, Glenn. No, 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 no. We got to show old people where we have errored so bad. And you might can't change things, but you can stop being a part of things. That's right. Let a mother be a mother. Because if they, you're the only mother that they know, when you die, they lost. God says the same promise I made when I brought you out of Egypt, the same promise is still intact. It's still intact. And can I say this to you one more time? Ain't no magic in the Bible. But there's plenty of miracles and promises. And God is big enough to keep his end of the promise. And you should be big enough to just stay under the promise. You all all right? Amen. Look at this house. And when I say look at this house, I'm not talking about the wall. The love that we had for each other. You understand what I'm saying? When a person was missing, you check on them. Amen. Now we are missing so much, it's just business as usual. Hello? Look, look, look at our matriarchs. If I don't see Mother Hebert, I need to ask a question. If I don't see Mother Fishman, Brother Journal, I need to ask a question. I need to go or send somebody. That's how much we've fallen. We used to love one another. We used to pray for one another. And my sisters and my brothers in my clothes, can I tell you this? I spent a lot of time talking with uh, Reverend Fisher. And I try to relate to him that you're going to go to college with your family. And most times they don't want no help because they don't want to hear the truth. But if you move on down the road, somebody down there waiting on the word. You still sitting at the house. You upset because your family doesn't cuss you out. You don't live in no glass bubble. Hello? I've had people to cuss me out. Amen. And I ain't made out of iron either. Mm -hmm. But you know what blesses me? I add it up quickly. Is my soul worth that? Mm. I've had people to, to rob me and misuse me with money. I add it up quickly. Is my soul worth that? Mm. See, now you young folk, play around if you want to. I'm too old. If I fall down now, and it took me this long to get where I'm at, I don't know if I have enough time to get back. Because see, y'all ain't going to let me back. But if I go to God and confess my faults. So when we leave here today, one of the things that's going to help you greatly is be not conformed. But be ye transformed by the renewing now, you ain't got nothing to do with nobody else's mind. Right. You need to get that out your head right now. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. When, when we bring children into the world, you, you can tell them what to do when they're in your house. Amen. When they become grown, Amen. you can cut that neighbor's ring. Because you know, the only thing you got left is to have, ask God to have mercy on them. But trying to raise grown people? Y'all want to read my book? I, got, I can write a book. And don't need no paper or raising children. Ungrateful. 
nasty, disrespectful, but they're still mine. Yes, it is. You see what I'm saying? They're still mine. Yes, it is. ask God to take them back. No, Lord, have mercy on them. Set up their Damascus Road before it's a day and a day too late. They left the building for a minute. They bumped their head. But one thing I do know, I put the teaching in them. That's it. So my sisters and my brothers, consider your ways. And what about nobody says? Consider your ways. You are the best watchman of your soul. You are the, listen, if you sick today, does anybody that's in here know how you feel? No. I know somebody who do. You understand what I'm saying? And you don't need nothing new if you know the architect that made that what you got. Lord, this ain't working right. You made it. I'm your child. You promised that you would always be with me. See, that, that's how you lay it on the line. You understand what I'm saying? And please, my sisters and brothers, my clothes, don't you ever let me hear you asking somebody else to pray for you when you ain't prayed for yourself yet. Rev, I want you to fast on this for me, and I'm fasting, and you sitting at Red Lobster. <laughs> Tell me what kind of sense that makes. And see, y'all laughing, but see, the Bible teaches me that certain things you run upon is not going to be moved except by praying and fasting. So if you're going to ask me to fast, it seems like you fast too. You had Red Lobster. It got me tied down fasting for you. I don't think so. I'm just being real. You understand what I'm saying? And in my clothes today, all of us that's got children, grandchildren that's still in school, let me tell you something. The only hope you got left is praying and anointing them. That's the only hope. You can't do nothing about what society has set up, but you can still be true to God. Amen. As for me and my house, I'm going to serve who? You're not, not Buddha. I'm going to serve who? The living God. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. Let us pray. If you pray right, heaven belongs to you. If you pray right, heaven belongs to you. If you pray right, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. If you do right, heaven belongs to you.
your people got all kinds of issues. Everybody's not sick. Everybody's not mixed up in their mind. We have heartaches and disappointments. We have needs. And we know that you're able to supply. But for everyone that's sick this morning, we proclaim what he did in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. For those that on their way to doctors perform the miracle before they get there. Yes, For those that need surgery, Father, we're asking that you would be the knife. Yes, Father, that you would operate from the inside out. Yes, yes, and then, Lord, we know that you're able to not even have to leave your throne, but just say, be. Yes. And it is. We thank you, God, for those whom footsteps has gotten short and our sight have gotten dim, but you made us a promise that you would never leave us nor forsake us. We ask that you would bless marriages this morning. And, oh, God, I lift our children up before you, Lord. We look to the right, we look to the left. There's no other place under the sun that we can find deliverance but in the name of Jesus. Father, we call sin out this morning, no matter what it is, and we like to take the eye out and squeeze the O in there. For the only cure for sin is your son. God, we thank you right now. And we lift up every problem, every circumstance, every situation, every heart, every mind, soul, and spirit, and we surrender to you. God, take your word and start an operation in us. Where there's sin, give us love. And where there's confusion, let peace reign. Where there's sorrow, Lord, let joy come. God, we thank you this morning. And we pray your blessing on every home that's represented here. We pray your blessing upon us as we travel up and down to and fro on our jobs, even going about our work. And Lord, by your passing out your blessing this morning, we ask that you would, would you would just touch us with a soothing spirit of peace. God, that we can proclaim your joy. Father, as you bless us, we ask that you would bless our community. The streets that we live on. The homes that we live in and the automobiles that we drive. God, go before us like a leading lamb and come right behind us like a guardian angel. For that reason, we thank you in the most highest fashion. Glory, hallelujah to your name. And when it's all said and done, give us a home in the kingdom that we be able to preach and forever more. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Let the heart say amen. amen. God bless you.